Welcome all to my first video review. I'm going to review iFishing. So I think iFishing is the best fishing simulator out there. Hooked is probably number two on my list. iFish doesn't really suit me really. Now there's options. You can adjust the volume. Doesn't matter because we're not having headphones in and I have an iPod touch. There's records. I, it keeps very nice. Overall, it's a really great interface. Here's some, just some tips on how to fish. But the game is based all around real fishing, if you fish for real. Now, there are many different lakes. Uh, I think there's 20 or something like that. Well, at each lake, you have to, in the tournament mode here, uh, there's a time limit you set, and then you pick the lake you want to fish at. And, and just for fun, you can see how much money in the top it shows that you need so I'm sorry I didn't know my camera shuts off after a little while and then doesn't record anymore so we'll get back to it like the money again and then at each lake there's the target fish so at this one that's pike and then walleye smallmouth largemouth so let's go fishing here for largemouth as you can see, you touch the right and the wheel turns to the right. You touch the left and the wheel turns left. And if you see that little thing, it's a boat and it actually moves. And then down here is the throttle. You can go up. Down here is a viewfinder. So you actually try and look for fish. So I'm cruising. And now, like, if you bump into, like, things, it makes a sound. Like, I, it just made a sound, but I don't have the headphones in. So now we can go and cast press the thing up in the top right corner and now you touch down here and then you flick it like real fishing ah, that time. turned off on me again well anyway so you click done in the top right corner and it goes and it uh, shows the like weight of the fish what type of fish and then you click the bottom the home button and the top lock button so that you take a picture and it gets saved into your photo album it's really quite nice and then so i'll go back into just for fun or yeah let's go back to this lake so just cast right here so what you do it like shows like actually where you would be in the background so if you're near dock it shows like a dock with boats if you're facing the like open water it shows the open water so up here is the line depth so normally it goes out 24 feet other times it goes out different uh, lengths I don't know how to judge by different lengths because sometimes I've like thrown it across the room pretty much and for the line depth, it's right below it. It shows like how deep it is. So if it's a sparing bait and you're reeling, then it goes higher. It like has real adjustments. And then there's tow weight in the boat. So if you catch a bass or the target fish at the lake, then and you click keep after you caught it, then it shows up the tow weight in there. That's used for tournaments mostly. And then you can pick the lure you want go to tackle box and then you go you can pick the lure it tells you the name of the lure the action it has so this one has a dive action and the max depth so like there's a jig it sinks and it, its max depth is unlimited usually I use this spinner bait but other times I try out different things so we're nearing the end now I say 